Hey everyone, Forza Horizon 5 is now available and I'm crazy excited to drive into that game. However, that also means I need to 3D print one of those crazy steering wheel adapters for my controller. What I'm really excited about is that there is a new steering wheel adapter available for us to 3D print and try out here in today's video. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I am so close to hitting that 200,000 subscriber milestone and I would love to have you here as part of that ride. So the idea behind this is to avoid spending $100 to $300 for a whole steering wheel adapter Thing that's going to go on a desk somewhere when you could just easily 3D print one or have one 3D printed for you for a fraction of the cost. The very first thing that we're going to need are the files for this project and they're designed by Pixel2 who originally created the very first set of files that I showed off about two years ago in a video that just went absolutely crazy here on YouTube and I have to say his files are even better this time around. These are a newer version of those same files with a slightly tweaked design that requires almost no supports and prints in half the time as the original files did. I'm going to be printing mine over on the Elgu Neptune 2S. This is easily one of my favorite FDM 3D printers and it just prints flawlessly. And here we can see the prints just popping right off of the build plate after the print was finished and requires no sanding or further follow-up. Now that we've got everything printed, all you need for this project is your controller, the 3D printed parts, a 608 skateboard bearing, some super glue, as well as I like to use some WD-40. To assemble all the parts, it's really straightforward and simple. You have the frame that's gonna go snapping onto the controller. There is this little joint here that you can take the pivot part and snap that on and it should freely slide back and forth here. Then you have this great little piece that's newly added to this latest version of the steering wheel, which is a little piece here that's gonna slide through the bottom. You wanna make sure that the long end is pointing down at the longer end of the controller adapter, and you're just gonna snap it into place. What this will allow the controller to do is if you ever need to toggle on or off the Xbox button on the controller, you can just use this to actually trigger that function. Then we have the pivot piece that's gonna snap onto the controller joystick so we just slide that in and twist it and it's all snapped into place now we just need to install the bearing onto the steering wheel so you're just gonna slide it on and it should if your printer is properly calibrated and prints great and nice and neat it should just slide right into place before I run off and super glue anything I like to put the steering wheel in place make sure everything freely moves so this is looking fantastic here I'll pull that back out and then take a little bit of super glue and apply it to the bottom side and the top side of the frame where the bearing will rest up against. So here we can slide this back into place. And after a minute or two, this should be glued into place and nice and firm. Now this is an additional step that I like to take with my steering wheel adapters that I sell on Etsy, but I take a little bit of WD-40 and I apply it here inside that little spot and it'll help make the gliding mechanism move that much better on the steering wheel adapters for you. That moves so smooth now. Now all we need is your controller and you can proceed by snapping this on by clipping it into the top and bottom and then the pivot piece here slides right over top the joystick and now you're ready for some driving. If you just wanted to slap on the steering wheel adapter to your controller and get to driving, you're gonna have a lot of fun. But if you wanted to tweak your settings ever so slightly inside your game to have a more precise driving experience, here are the settings that I've tweaked inside of Forza 5. Going into the settings menu, if you go down to the advanced control options, I set the steering access dead zone inside to zero, the steering access dead zone outside to 80, and the steering linearity to 100. And again, you can modify those settings how best you see fit for your controller and your you know, personal preferences there. And if you feel like you have a set of settings that work best for this type of steering wheel attachment, post those comments down below because I would love to try those out as well. And here it is in action. Are you sure we should be heading into this? 
And one of my favorite things about this updated steering wheel design is that it not only fits the original Xbox One controllers, that same design also works with the Xbox Series X controller that has the USB-C port on the top, as well as both Xbox Elite controllers, which is fantastic because these are my go-to controllers for gaming. Adding one of these steering wheel adapters to your controller can be a great way to enhance your gaming experience when it comes to any of those driving simulators like Forza Horizon 5. I do want to take a minute to say a big thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. I use the Elgu Neptune S to print all of the parts for the controller adapter that I showed in today's video. This is easily one of my favorite FDM 3D printers and it prints amazing, especially if you're looking to just now get started with 3D printing. This is one that I highly recommend. Elgu also makes some amazing resin 3D printers, including the Mars 3, which is now available over on Amazon and that is by far my favorite resin 3D printer currently that I'm playing around with. And if you're interested about more information about any of Elgu's products, you'll find links down below. Thanks again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. So if you have a 3D printer and you want to enhance your driving experience, you can print one of these in just about an hour, which is crazy considering the previous iteration of the controller wheel adapters took me almost two hours to print. So this is a really fantastic improvement on an already amazing design. And the best part to me is that it fits a variety of different Xbox One controllers, ranging from the original Xbox One all the way up to the Elite 2 controllers. If you're interested in printing one for yourself, I'll have links down below to Pixel 2's files where you can print off one of these for yourself and of course it's available for your PlayStation controllers as well and if you don't have a 3D printer and are interested in one of these I'll have links down below to my Etsy shop where you can buy one from me directly. Thanks so much for watching I need to get back in and start doing some more driving. Make sure to add me over on Xbox under Uncle Jesse if you'd like to race my drive attire. Not that I know what I'm doing half the time.